you know, Teal. And my father was in 1960, yeah. Okay. yeah. I want to sit up near it, let uh, me. And what was his name? P uh, his name was uh, Teal. Teal uh, uh, was Tom. Okay. Oh, shall we say? Okay. Yeah. And uh, with he, he was called Theobald because yeah. his father, isn't that correct, Mammy? His father was born in 1898, and his father, Mammy's grandfather, John O'Shaughnessy, was secretary of the All Ireland oh, wow. 1798 Centenary yeah. Committee. Yeah. Wow. So, so he was the youngest son, and he was born in 1898, okay. and he was called after Theobald Wolfe Tone. And when they were having him baptized, the priest said, and he was born. Born in Canal Walk, yeah. uh, the canal, uh, and uh, he was being baptized in James Street, isn't that right, Mammy? Yeah. And James Street, uh, the priest said, apparently, that's not a Christian name when he heard Three Bald Wolf Tone. So, apparently, <laughs> Mammy's grandfather, John O'Shaughnessy, said, Well, add in Joseph, because at least he was a working man. <laughs> and so he became Three Bald Wolf Tone, Joseph O'Shaughnessy, and he used to say, What a handle. Oh, very like, good. For anybody to have, it's and a huge handle. What kind of man was he? What was My he father. like? Yeah. Oh, he was great. Yeah. yeah. He had a great sense of humour. Yeah. Brilliant sense of humour. Yeah. yeah. And he was a hurler, yeah. wasn't he, Mammy? He was a great hurler. He loved hurling, yeah. Okay. He was a great hurler, yeah. Loved hurling. He played hurling before the rising, like. Oh, he was yeah. in Croaks Club oh, right. before it became Kilmacud Croaks. Okay. And so he was in the South Dublin Union in 19. No, he was actually under Eamon Kant. Oh, right. And he was in the 4th Battalion. And they had four, they occupied four buildings. Oh, yeah. One was Rose Distillery. One was was uh, Watkins building with Concord which was there. One was Marabone Lane which where Mammy's father was. Mm. Uh, Theobald oh, with Theo. Good. My grandfather oh. was in uh, Marabone Lane and the other then was the South Dublin Union. Okay. So in the South Dublin Union Mammy's uncle was in the South Dublin Union wasn't he? Yeah. Dado's brother. Yes. And what was yes. his name? No, ja Jack. Jack. Your uncle Jack. Jack O'Shaughnessy. He was in the South Dublin Union. I don't know which one was the one that was most involved in everything. Yeah, you see, Mammy had another uncle. Probably the number six, you know, when I can't Yeah, well, in the book Ireland first, you wrote about the Mammy. Have we got the book there behind you? You have? Yeah, thanks. And she, there were, Mammy had two uncles, Uncle Jack, and who was in the South Dublin Union. He was injured. He was injured on Easter Monday. Okay. And the man on either side of him died. Okay. And he hit, it was in McCaffrey's Orchard behind behind uh, the nurse's building. Is there a picture of him in that? There's a, there's a picture of Mammy's father in, yeah. in. This is the book that the 4th Battalion relatives got out. Claire here is, a, is the editor, along with myself, co editor, right? And myself, Horrigine, yes. Uh, Claire Eager, Claire Eager's father, grandfather, sorry, raised the flag okay. on Marabone Lane. Uh, James was part of what the is that right? Okay. He raised the flag on Marabone Lane on Easter Monday. Okay. And my grandfather, Theo, was inside, okay. her father. And this I is my, my niece, yeah. who's the third, going to be carrying on the flag for all of us, please God, in the future. And how would you no like, machine. how would you like them to be remembered? Uh, well, you, you, how would you like them to be remembered? Well, Dado, my grandfather, was a very gentle soul. That's his picture of him. Oh, yeah. That's your father, very fine Mammy. Man. Daddy, yeah, Daddy yeah, very yeah. Good. And she wrote a piece about him and oh, she describes how he's a gentle spirit. And they were very patriotic. Yeah. And the reason that the book is called Ireland First is because my grandfather, her father, was out at Fairy House on the day of the race, at the day of Easter Monday. Oh. My father loved the horses. Yeah. And he was out at Ferry House along with a lot of the of the other volunteers because yeah, yeah. it had been called off. The rising That's had right. been called yeah, off, yeah. and they came back in himself and Tom Th Thomas Gay, who became his brother-in-law, Tommy yeah. Gay, and they came back in. And Jack was out there too, Uncle Jack and uh, Mammy's Uncle Jack, and they were told they had to report for duty. Right. And my grandfather was told to go down to Marbone Lane, which was beside the house at Canal Walk, and he was told to say the word Ireland first in order to gain entry oh. and he went down and he was
was a bit of a joker, so he started saying Ireland last, Ireland in the middle. And apparently his friend said... Oh. That was my father. That's the kind of thing he would do. And apparently his friend said, uh, just say the right word, we let you in. Because there's a bit, if you don't, uh, that was Jemison's distillery. Yeah. And there's a big wall and it was, you know, you couldn't uh, gain entry without, yeah, yeah. The, 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 yeah. without it being opened up, you know. I think it's an incredible story about them, you know. And I think a, a lot more should be done for that area as well, you know. Yeah. Cares of yeah. It. Well, we'd like, we're, we're hoping to have the plaque that was on Marabone Lane, a bronze plaque, we've recovered it in Dublin City. Oh, very good. Claire came across it and they've, they've cleaned it up and we're going to have it set into a granite piece, a permanent memorial at the back of St. Catherine's Sports Hall in Marabone Lane. And that will be um, opened sometime this coming season. And uh, it will be there permanently, you know. And that St. Catherine's Hall is actually the site of the Jemison's Distillery. It was oh, on yeah. both sides of the road. Oh, so we have members here today, the Young family, yeah. and their fathers were actually on the other side of the road. They were in that part of the, you know, oh. Marmon Lane. So it's all been knocked down now, as you know. We're still trying to to fight for the last piece of all. So, is, is there anything else you want to say? Or are you happy with that? <laughs> Mammy's father was from the house Mountain View, don't you want to say that? Yeah, well that's Mountain View, yeah. The name of the house was Mountain View, wasn't it? And Mountain View on the canal, it had cellars, and we know that that's where they kept arms, and we also, didn't you dump arms into the canal when you were, she did, yeah. You dumped arms, is it? In the 1940s. Yeah, they, my father used to ask me, when they wanted to do everything, they just asked me to dump them in the canal. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they had got arms in the cellar since the, since before 1916, oh, and yeah. then with after the you know uh, ah, yeah. they, they had to dump them. And Mammy was only a child in the 40s, and she had to dump the arms. And so did her cousin. Um, you know it's gas. But um, uh, she had she had another uncle, Uncle Eddie, who was in the post office, and he did a lot of the uh, information. Like a secret service kind of stuff. Yeah. He, he never joined up, but he was active in, in oh, yeah. communication. She also had a, an, aunt, an aunt called Mayo Shocknessy, who was in Common Amman, and she was uh, very active as well uh, in the in the Marable Lane and also down in uh, in Common Amman the whole okay. time. She was in Common Amman from the time she was very young. Okay. Mayo Shocknessy, yeah. <laughs> And she drowned in the canal, tragically, yeah, 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 in the 1940s. And one of Mammy's earliest memories wasn't it was to be, was, was at her funeral, and all the Republicans came out to her funeral, yeah. It was held in Whitefriars Street Church. Your family has some history. Yeah, the Mountain View was the name of the house, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks.